So before we get today's video underway, just a couple of quick channel announcements. First of all is the new schedule. So we will be dropping videos every day of the week. Monday to Saturday, I'm going to be dropping the Aberdeen save at 3.30 p.m. and then the Creating a Legacy Journeyman save at 5.30 p.m. Sundays, we're going to leave for videos that are something, something a little bit different, so keep an eye open for those uh, things such as like experiments, tactics guides, tactics breakdowns, wonder kids, that kind of stuff. So keep an eye on the channel on a Sunday for something a little bit different than the usual Let's Play. Also, just to quickly note, I will be playing every match on this channel in key highlights from this day forward, just so we can qu quickly kind of get through the episodes and we're not having half an hour long videos and it's just two matches being played. But that's all the notes is out of the way, let's get into the episode. Peace, welcome back to Playbook FM, I'm Jay, we're back with part 9 of my creating a legacy, no we're not, we're back with part 9 of my Aberdeen FM20 save. If you missed anything from the previous episode, go back and take a watch because we are about to jump back in. So in my ongoing quest to prove I know absolutely zero about Scottish football, it turns out that the, uh, the table splits at the end of the season. So here's me thinking we we're going into the summer and just finished fourth, but no. It turns out we've got another five matches left of the season because the league is split into two and we are in the championship group. So we do have an opportunity to still win the league if we perform well in this um, playoff playoff group stage, I guess you could call it. But um, today we're playing against Kilmarnock and then we have Celtic in the second episode of in the second episode of this match. In the second match of this episode. Um, really and truly, guys, I'm not too sure how I'm going to figure this out, considering there's five games in the championship groups. I might try and shoehorn, shoehorn in Hib Hibir uh. I might try and shoehorn in Hibs at some point and maybe do the next episode as three games or maybe do this episode of three games. I don't know. But let's get into the match anyway. So starting 11 for the game against Kilmarnock, we have Joe Lewis in goal, a back four of Richard Tate, Jack Hendry, Scott McKenna and Greg Lee. We have Pedro Chirivella in the defensive midfield position with Greg Doherty and Dean Campbell ahead of him. Marion Schved, Ryan Brewster and Eamon Brophy complete the front three. Let's get into the match. And I'm quite pleased with the fact that we do have this playoff um, group thing to play because it does give us an opportunity to kind of make up for the fact that we've we, we had a poor start to the season um, I mean if if we had if we didn't have that slip early on we probably would have been about here definitely definitely second I mean Rangers they've run away with it in terms of points this season uh, considering our 33 games is it they've won 29 before this match obviously that's, they, they've gone ahead in their game by the looks of things but I, I, I don't know somebody let me know in the comments how does it work is it a case of you I don't know like how does it work because surely Celtic can't be caught at this point so what is the point in this championship playoff is it just to determine like the final the final uh, like six positions I mean five positions below the first the first spot I, I don't know I've I've never seen this before. I've I've not really watched much Scottish football, so so I I need help. Somebody let me know in the comments below. But the ball falls to Chirivella, who plays it forward to Tate, who's been in tremendous form lately. He's had a bit he had a bit of a rocky start to life at the club, but he's found form now. And then the ball ends up with Brewster, who plays it back out to Greg Lee. Greg Lee takes a shot and he puts it over the bar. And so far in this match, as you can see, we're dominating possession, had seven shots on goal, only one of which on target, which is a bit of a negative. We've limited them to one shot, so I'm surprised to see all this all this red down here from my assistant manager. But um, we have been the better team here. Defensively, you have the ability to make the difference. No, nope, Tate's still nervous. My goodness. I think you heard me talking, saying that he's been in good form. And I've just piled on the pressure to him because I don't know why he's looking nervous in this kind of match. 
the past few games has been playing absolutely tremendously, which is why he got the start here today. Moved him onto the right so we can get Greg Lee in as well. Because Greg Lee is always in form, but we're just not doing anything this match. All right, let's get creative. Try and inspire something. And Dean Campbell's tiring a little bit. So I'm going to bring on Craig Bryson in this situation. Can we make any other changes? Eamon Brough is playing poorly. Put Ryan Brewster up front. Bring on Connor McLennan. I did start Brewster out on the ring. On the ring? On the wing, just so I could bring in Eamon Brophy and try and get all of my uh, my goal threats on at the same time. But clearly it's not worked and we have ended this match nil-nil. I'm not happy with that. Let's move on to the Celtics match. And there we go. We do have confirmation that Celtic have won the league. So I'm not too sure what's even the point in showing you the rest of these matches. I might just do the final game of the championship group. Is that what it's called? Scroll down. Yeah, championship group. So I might just skip ahead to the final game of the championship group just to finish out this episode and the season. Oh, we also have confirmation that we have qualified for the Europa League. So there is literally nothing. There's no point in showing you the rest of these games. There really isn't. Um, what I'm going to do then is skip ahead to the Rangers match, which is the last of the championship group. And then we'll call it quits on the episode and the first season. Right, so we are back for the final game of the season at home against Rangers. Um, just played the last few games of the Premiership Champions group offline. As you can see, we're yet to win in the group. However, we've only lost one game against Celtic. Um, so we are going to dive into the Rangers match. Let me just show you the starting eleven. Joe Lewis starts in goal. Richard Tate, Jack Hendry, Scott McKenna and Greg Lee are the back four. Pedro Chirivella, who we've offered a new contract to, just to get a bit more money on, added on to his release clause. Starts in defensive midfield. The Funton Ojo, Dean Campbell. Ahead of him, we have Marion Schved on the wing. Norm McGinn on the opposite wing. And Eamon Brophy starting up front. Right, let's get into the final match of... My first season in charge of Aberdeen. And this is, as well, the first season that I finished on FM20. So, surely that's worth a thumbs up. So, please give this video a like. Let's dive in. And I think we've kind of... We've got a core group of players who we know are pretty decent. If we can get a left winger and... Another centre midfielder, I want another centre midfielder that's that's quite um, consistent. Then I think we're good. Striker pos the striker position, we're, we're okay. Eamon Brophy did get a fair amount of goals this season. Ryan Brewster, I don't imagine we'll be able to get him back for a second year on loan. We will put in an offer, but we'll see. And Greg Doherty as well, we'll probably have to put in another offer for him on loan. But I'm re I am pretty happy with the, the form we managed to pick up towards the end of the season. I am very happy indeed. And we go into the half time at nil nil. Um we've been unlucky so far. Yeah, to be honest, there's not been any any highlights. But we are hundred percent on target with our shots, so I mean I guess that makes us the better team, maybe. More efficient, you might say. And again, I think this might just be one of those games where we just cancel each other out and we just don't get any highlights. Um, I'm going to take off Narm again as well. I think I might try and get rid of Narm again for some coin at the end of the season because he's just been plagued with injuries and when he's when he's been fit and playing, he's not really showed me much. And Ryan Brewster there with a chance to take the lead, but it is saved by the Rangers goalkeeper. And they begin again with a throw-in. I just thought for a second, I don't actually know where Steven Gerrard went after leaving Rangers. I'll need to check that after this video. But Kent, who pretty much destroyed us the first match we played against Rangers, was in on goal there as well, but did put it wide. And I think that that's probably going to be the last chance of this half because it, it just seems to be one of those games. 
It really does. And Jack Henry is not really playing well. I'm going to bring on Zach Viner. Even though he and Scott McKenna don't have the the best of partnerships. They've got like the dashed line, which is like an untested partnership, I believe. Uh, so, yeah. However, like I said in, in earlier in the episode, we have qualified for the Europa League. So, we have managed to, by the skin of our teeth... Um, achieve the board expectations in terms of league positioning. It's just the cup, the cup stuff that let us down really and truly. And Ryan Brewster there does manage to score this time. He gets his 15th goal of the season. And what a way to sign off to the Aberdeen fans, who he oh, sorry just opened up my uh, just opened up my browser there for some reason. Not too sure what happened. I think I pressed one of the little adverts on the side of the board but it's a 1-0 victory at home to Rangers and what a way to end the season right guys so if you made it this far please leave a thumbs up we're back tomorrow for what will be the end of season review first end of season review I've done of FM20 and we'll make some signings as well so until tomorrow guys peace (laughs) 